out on the road. Yeah, this is what we love to celebrate, to celebrate. Oh, this is not Hollywood. No, we don't come out of us. We this party with no restraint. From pillar to post. have fun raising funds tonight. And remember that our two uh, primary things, not without coincidence, are healthcare and education. Those are the two things that we support. I was really um, touched earlier this year when I saw your outreach, um, the, the Barbados Ball outreach to um, persons for the support for survivors of, of cancer. That really touched me, and I, I really want to applaud them, and I think that you should applaud them for that. This is Canada's 150th birthday celebration coming up in about a week or so. And I have to say that Barbados has been trading with Canada for longer than 150 years, right? It started out by us sending rum and, and Canada sending salt fish. I'm not sure who got the better end of that deal, but as, uh, as my friends south of the border would say, you know, bigly, we gotta renegotiate this trade arrangement. <laughs> I had the rum punch at the beginning of the evening and I'm set. I'm going to have a good time tonight. <laughs> this is a great opportunity and I'm here with so many special dignitaries to uh, celebrate Barbadian culture and the positive impact Barbadians have made in Brampton and across Canada over the 150 years since Confederation. So spending so much time there during the formative years of my childhood uh, has really made Barbados a, a special place for, uh, for me. Uh, and I really think that uh, many of the values that I learned there uh, have helped to shape me into the person that I am today. The Barbados Ball is one of the main fundraising events in our community, and the proceeds go towards attending youth attending uh, post-secondary education, or for sick children attaining the treatment for a life-threatening disease, or to secure much-needed hospital equipment. Uh, so tonight, I really just want to take the opportunity to recognize the wonderful work that Barbados Ball Canada Aid does in Barbados and here in the GTA where almost 15,000 Barbadians call home. We have an obligation to help define what the next 50 years of Barbados is going to look like, how Barbados will be competitive, how it re will remain a top education and healthcare jurisdiction, how it will remain a fantastic jurisdiction for tourism and for international trade. So ladies and gentlemen, guess what's happening next? Are you feeling a little bit hungry? So am I. So you know what? I have three beautiful words to tell you right now. Dinner is served.
Enjoy. Receiving the scholarship allowed me to choose an institution that best suited me as a learner. It allowed me to choose an institution that gave me the experiences that I was seeking when becoming a teacher, and it also allowed me to not be constrained to staying at home. On the behalf of every past and future recipient of the John Rolock Memorial Scholarship, I want to thank you for your contributions and continuous support. I want to thank the Barbados Ball, the Barbados Canada Aid, the Barbados Canada Foundation, and the John Rollock Memorial Scholarship. Thank you and have a great evening. It is important that we recognize our sponsors for their generous support. So I'd like to thank our gold sponsor, RBC Royal Bank, our silver sponsors, Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. I'll let you clap. And Dipro Induca Canada Limited. I'd like to thank also all our donors to the live and silent auctions, the raffle and the door prizes. I'd like to thank our volunteers who have put together this great evening for us to enjoy. So if you could get a round of applause to our volunteers, please. If you can please spread the word about the ball, BBCA, and encourage your family and friends and acquaintances, next door neighbors, people you know who love Barbados to be at the ball next year. We are counting on you to continue with the support. I, I told a group down here that I do like Oprah, I say, you are invited, you are invited, you are invited. <laughs>